not a gamer.
agency in that case. Correct. Like bike place all in. Get off to a good start. <clears throat> And hello and welcome everybody to the stream. We have semifinal action between the University of Jamestown and Boise State University. In the semifinals of the varsity plus division. Jimmy's coming off a win against Guam last week. Boise came in number one seed, first round bye. Jimmy's looking to capitalize on their momentum from last week. Boise State starting off with Captain Falcon. Jimmy's will be starting with Measley, a Bowser pick to begin with. Good momentum on both sides, pretty even game so far. Nice neutral tech off the jab. PS2 to the stage, you really want to space Captain Falcon out, kind of give him uh, as much room to cover as we possibly can. Diang those Falcon combos out is really, really crucial in this matchup. Nice forward air there from Measley. Chasing both players at high percent. Off of the platform, though, that's going to net the first stock for the Jimmies. Jimmy strike first. 11 stocks here. Measley favoring the Bowser lately instead of the Pyra and Mithra. Bowser does pretty well in crew battles. He's got a lot more longevity as far as his life is concerned. Also does very good damage, pretty low effort character to kind of work things through here. It's Falcon fishing for some kill moves. Big flame breath coming out from Measley. Nothing gonna happen there for Boise State though. Big up tilt coming, nothing doing though, Measley. Still with some good momentum. That flame breath there is gonna make him pay, but Bowser is heavy. In high recovery, he's gonna come back. Measley playing very patiently so far. The out of shield is the name of the game. Bowser is one of the great out of shield options in the game. 
That combined with tough guy makes Bowser super threatening at the line. Just doing a very good job of hanging on to his life here. Side B there. Falcon back at kill percent. Another side B here. 121 for Boise State. Measley still hanging on to his life. Gets the weak hit of Falcon Kick there. Boise State will knot it up. Two stocks apiece. I'll turn things over to Clicky. Was popping as Clicky. So Sorry for the delay. I thought we had it faster, but I guess not. So I am here joining you guys tonight. Exciting match against Boise. Boise uh, actually has been the scrim partner in the past. Uh, not in Smash, but in you know, other games we've scrimmed with before, so it would be fun to see. It doesn't kill. As long as he gets out of it, both his stocks are back. Should be good. Oh, he doesn't. He gets spiked. That's unfortunate. With that being said, I, I think he will come out of it with one stock left unless this Falcon does something miraculous. Goes for the spike, doesn't quite find it. He hits the spike. He doesn't come out of that one ahead. That's got to be a little bit too ego for, uh, for Mizu. But score is still relatively even. Boise up by one stock. Sorry, folks, for the, the lack of commentary. I'm still warming up from from uh, the, the trek here. I apologize. But it'll be interesting to see how this next matchup goes with the Captain Falcon only having one life left. Uh, one, one stock, excuse me. Got to use the the proper smash terminology. Um, it'll be interesting to see just how he plays it if he if he plays really conservatively and tries to ride out that last stock as long as he can, or if he just plays super aggressively and says, "I'm already ahead. I'm going to claim some more stocks if you let me," and he just just goes all in aggro. We'll have to have to wait and see just what he decides on. Whipping out the little Mac, the the sleeper character for UJ, the uh, the ace in the sleeve, if you will. One interesting thing about this matchup specifically is that both of these characters are pretty fast, and both of them hit pretty hard. So, if uh, if UJ comes out of this ahead, I would wager that it's gonna go pretty quickly.
Captain Falcon has to throw away his two stocks. Good form. Expected. And off we go. Gets him back with the side B, but does fall to the get up attack. Luckily it doesn't go too far off stage, because as we have seen, Little Mac does kind of struggle when it comes to anything off stage at all. Hits him with the counter. Love to see it. Falcon already up to 86%. Does whiff the up B. Yet another good counter. Gets him off stage, but he is able to get back. Captain Falcon's recovery isn't too bad. It's not phenomenal by any means, but it's, it's not bad. Sketchy counter, but he does make it back. Hits him with the smash attack. Comes out ahead, and like I said, pretty quick final stock for that Captain Falcon. Uh, both players, or uh, both teams, rather, now at nine stocks in the piece. There's Little Mac. I couldn't find him in the roster to change him on the scoreboard. So while we're waiting for uh, both teams to decide what their next move is going to be, I'll, I'll just throw my little spiel at you guys. I'm sure you guys know it about as well as I do at this point. Don't forget to follow on here as well as on all of our social medias so you can keep up with all of the UJ Esports action. We've got a Twitter, a Facebook, and an Instagram in addition to our Twitch page. Um, you can subscribe if you so wish. It helps support the team. Um, I'm pretty sure that it also gives access to more VODs, but don't quote me on that. Um, so you can go back and watch streams. I think it extends how far back you can go, but I'm not, I don't know if that's still the case. I know that used to be the case. Um, and I, I know I've said it before, but we are working on emotes for the stream, so there, there are going to be some special UJ emotes coming your way any day now. Um, and you can also donate to us or to Extra Life. Uh, Extra Life is a uh, it's a fund for sick children. Um, and so any money that, that you donate to them is going to a great cause. Um, or, or you could just donate to us. Now we're, we're a pretty good cause too. Maybe I'm, I'm not sure I can say we're better than a, a cause for sick children, but like we, we play video games, we're pretty cool. Not to mention, we could use some funding. We wouldn't, we wouldn't turn down any funding. From my eavesdropping on the boys, it sounds like the next player for Boise is going to be Mario. One thing about Mario is he's really, like, momentum-based, and the slower and clunkier a character is, uh, the the more favorably uh, the the more favorable Mario is going to be in the matchup, but against a character like Little Mac, he's a good bit harder to combo just because he's fast. So it'll be interesting to see just how Boise's Mario is going to end up playing that kind of matchup, especially because not many people do play Little Mac, so I doubt he has a whole lot of experience in the matchup. 
That looks like he's just fishing for an opportunity, trying to find any sort of uh, any sort of hole in the armor, or in this case, super armor. Hits him with the jab flurry, gets a free 15%, excuse me. Another free, uh, almost 14%. Ooh, that's that's a rough air dodge. Just barely misses the ledge. And I think Mario is starting to find exactly what he can be doing, which is pushing Little Mac to the edges of the stage with his O's. Uh, I, I forget exactly what it's called. Ooh, he hits him through the ledge, doesn't quite find the kill. That's a lot of free damage, though. Ooh, he doesn't win that trade. That was, that was a very good game, though. I respect that. There we go. Finally claims the first stop of Boise's Mario. Does have KO punch now, but isn't quite able to make it back to the stage. And that's going to be the end of Little Mac for the set. Now Boise up by two stops. Sounds like DJ is gonna be throwing in loud. Choose your fighter. Yeah, there he is. So from what I know, Mario isn't a big fan of matchups with sword characters, uh, and Cloud has a pretty large sword. So I. If I had to take a wild guess, I would wager that uh, Cloud is pretty heavily favored in the, the matchup against Mario. With that being said, we'll have to see exactly how it pans out, but I think a combination of Cloud being able to keep pressure on better than a lot of sword characters and Mario just disliking the sword character matchups, um, I think it's going to end pretty or it's, it's gonna go pretty heavily in Cloud's favor. Mario does have to throw away one of his socks to see what option he chooses to do it. Good, good. J just the, the standard tuck and roll. Love to see it. So off we go. Hits him with the up B. It doesn't quite connect. Mario does get 24% through the combo. He's looking to do a similar thing, but better DI from uh, aces this time. 
get him out of the combo. Mario at 50%. 67. And so what Mario is looking to do here is uh, he's he's looking to set up with a, a fireball just with that you know, fraction of a second hit stun that the fireball has. Um, it, it allows him to get in there and really get a combo going. It's going to be really hard for Mario if he doesn't set up stuff like that. Not quite able to find the up at the end of his combo. Ooh, but look in the wrong direction with the side beam. The player is very even. He just barely misses. He gets the grab. Robot doesn't connect with the water gun. Both players pretty easy at kill percentage now. Mario finally loses his second stock of the set. There's the water gun. Does connect a little bit, but not enough to make any sort of impact. Still not dead, and hits him with the big side B. Still fishing for the grab, but can't quite find it. Battle of the projectiles coming out. Still can't find that grab. Flash is there. Does it get the tilt, I want to say that was? Realizing that his combos aren't working especially well, it's playing like a, a pokier style now. It's kind of odd to see, but I think that's what he needs to be doing. That's a free jab damage in. It's the grab. Oh, the water gun! This place is just enough. Mario about at kill percentage now for Cloud. 120 definitely kill percentage. Finally finds the back air and closes out the third stock of the set for boys. UJ's still down by two, but not undoable. It's not great, but it's possible. has one stock left we'll have to see who Boise brings out if they bring out a counter or if they decide that uh, one stock left on cloud isn't something to worry about something that they feel they need to counter
Who is Boise Brain? Uh, I always like seeing the the fighting game characters fighting in a fighting game, you know? I'm ready Three, two, it's fitting. One, go! Aces has to throw away two of his stocks. Get serious. Off we go. I would wager to say that this is also collab favored, but... I'm definitely less confident on this one. Free damage in. I'm already up to 73%. Up he was facing the wrong but luckily didn't uh didn't punish for it. I'd love to see it. The approach hopping over the projectile. The limit connects. Ooh, doesn't quite kill him with the dash attack. One more good attack should, though. Okay, maybe not. Maybe maybe another good one. Maybe that was a bad one. Maybe that wasn't a good one. Maybe this one also wasn't a good one. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. And has to die. He's at 160%. Both players just fishing for any sort of little opening. Good amount of knockback, but doesn't quite kill. The down air does connect, though, then a little more stock for UJ. It's him with the limit, free 30%. not going to find another stock. So UJ still Seven down by two. My bet is we fit. Considering it's it's Joe, Joe really likes playing these unconventional kind of characters. Lucario. No, no way. Rob. Oh, he's just baiting us now. Silly goose. No we fit this time. Game and watch is better anyways. I'm not gonna complain. Which game and watch was it? Color 
I, I think he does the like greenish one, like turquoiseish one. Turquoise is a very Joe color. like we're taking the fight to Pokemon Stadium. Pretty standard battlefield when there's no uh, no uh, stage changing on. Still remember back in the day on uh, on Brawl on GameCube when you would uh, when you'd play on Pokemon Stadium and you would constantly change like biomes basically. Good time. Better days. have to throw away one stock. Gets the one hammer out of the way. So that way next one that connects is a nine. And getting a lot of free damage in. Bomb not quite finding its mind. Oh, and and I, I guess that just removes the bomb from existence. Good to know. Good parry though. Oh, okay. and a good counter parry. than I thought he did. Good key action. Going for the hammers though, the, the plant hammers. Not finding anything. He's just fishing for those plant hammers. I would wager that he's not going to find him, as unfortunate as that is. Breakfast and missing his mark, and not a big fan of bacon. Ooh, there he does. He found it, but wasn't quite able to convert anything from it. He bucketed the Hadouken. A trade. Interesting. Yep. And Ken is just like, I'm going to even out the stocks. doing the same thing, but I guess it works. Bomb connects, love to see it. Hits the plant. 
gets the smash attack, doesn't quite kill, but sends him so close to the blast zone that he takes damage from it. Oh no! They trade, but but Joe is the first one to die. Interesting. Okay. Oh, well, first set doesn't look like it went UJ's way, but next set can and hopefully will be different. The arena has been shut down. Very sad. I guess I'll just uh, recreate the arena here. For normally being incredibly hot and stuffy in this casting room, it is freezing right now. Yeah, they they play for kelps.
Hey Charlos, how you doing? Hey, if you join this arena, I'm, I'm coming by your apartment and vandalizing it or something. Both players are starting out pretty slick. It's sent off stage. Let's get back pretty much for free though. Okay, I'm fine. He's active. And he connects it! UJ with the first stock. But, boys, he responding pretty quickly. Ooh, that has a longer range than I thought it did. Hits him with the counter, though. Couldn't quite make it back to stage. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I swapped a little more. There we go. Now the scoreboard is correct. Connects with that. Both teams, or both players, excuse me, down to one stock apiece. It's so strange to me that you can reverse that as quickly as he is. Good counter. Not quite able to connect with the KO. Next. Ooh, he makes it back. With a few pixels to spare. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure he gets out of this one. He does! He makes it back! No way he makes it back. Whoa. Okay, okay. He's dead. He survived way longer than he should have, but Boise up by one stock, not a, uh, a massive difference. Abso Charles, I am doing my job, thank you very much. I just have absolutely nothing to talk about in between matches. Now it looks like Measley is whipping out the Bowser. And off we go. 
all Measley has to do is claim one more stock off of Captain Falcon. That being said, it's not uh, it's not a very good matchup for Bowser. But he does only have to claim one stock. And as long as he holds center control, he's probably fine. He can't get uh, or at least it's much harder for him to get spiked like we saw last set. A lot of free damage there. Hits him with the dash attack. Hits him with the up air. Captain Falcon now very much in kill percentage. Recovering low. Love to see it. Does get the jabs out. Can't quite find the spike. Through it with the back throw. Recovers real high. But does just get grabbed again. Ooh, and he does make it out, but not 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 exactly. He doesn't exactly make it out. He doesn't lose his last stock until he claims one. But uh, he's not quite able to make it back to the stage. I feel like that's that's probably a worthwhile trade coming from that, that Captain Falcon. Like you're you're just happy to keep your team's lead going, especially with how that that match started out. Too easily for Measley, indeed. Forehead. Charles, if you want to come cast, I mean you you can. I'm not gonna say no. But you're not you're not gonna get paid for it or anything. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that the stream is two minutes behind so i don't know why there has to be a delay for smash of all games but there does so that's why there's a, a bit of a delay in me responding to chat i apologize Who do we got on the side of Boise? Uh, yeah, of course he plays for Keith. Ah. Mario in real life. Off we go. The battle for the ages, the classic, the one that's been going on for decades. 
minutes for Clicky to read a message. Yep, that that is why. That is why. Or had neither of these characters are Donkey Kong. <laughs> find the platform. I don't think it would have killed anyways, but it, it would have had a better chance at least. Next with that, Matt does kill. It evens out the stocks. Hit him with the, the ladder. Mario special, especially into larger characters like Bowser. With the Bowser bombs, three damage. Not quite able to find anything with the flame breath. Sends Mario flying. Interesting interaction there, but that kills. Mario down to his last stock. Hits him with the grab, some free damage. More free damage. God, I love free. Free is the best thing in the world, unless it's death. I don't like free death. Yet another interesting interaction there. Comes down real hard and spiky. Hits him with the Bowser bomb. 93%, one more could kill. Such a shame that uh, the flame breath doesn't quite reach the ledge there. One more Bowser bomb will kill now. He connects! And it... <laughs> and he gets sent to the stratosphere. Fully three stocks the Mario. What a display of dominance from Measley. If there is any point uh, to say too easily for Measley in chat, this... Yep, there we go. There it is. As I'm saying it, forehead types it. On my end, not on your end. On, on your end, it'll be like, you know, two minutes different. Measly still has two stocks left too. Like that's that was a big three stock for UJ. Alright, now we got the DK rap. Oh, that's why he was saying Donkey Kong, because the DK rap was playing. I get it. I understand. So I, I don't have audio like you guys do. I only have the, the screen. I don't get the audio from the TV. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know that was playing. My bad.
Getting jiggy with it before launching himself off the stage. Off we go. A little stage is pretty favorable for Bowser. Just because, uh, well, one, his flame breath covers more of the stage then. And two, uh, well, Bowser likes being in close and doing stuff like that. And so, if he's able to just get free damage in purely by being close by default, he's cool with it. Hits him with the Bowser Bomb. Not quite finding the stock. That does, though. Covers low, making sure Ken can't do much. Oh, it's the grab. That was like a pixel perfect grab unless the move ended. Free damage. Love to see it. Big free damage. Oh! Oh! What a parry! That was filthy. You're welcome. Does get sent off stage. The low recovery, make sure not much can happen. Recovers over the flame breath. Free damage. Doesn't hit the shield poke. Does spot dodge the first attack, but can't quite spot dodge the rest. Ooh, he loses his stock. But with that being said, Ken is really close to kill percentage, especially for Bowser. So this should end quite soon. Sends him back to the blast zone. That goes through stage. I didn't figure the hitbox would be large enough to go through stage. Spot dodges the side B. And there we go. Finally goes all the way through that blast zone. UJ up by a commanding four stocks. Sounds like the final member of Boise is going to be King DDD. So Boise is down to their last player, and UJ is still only on their second. And from what, I've, what I'm overhearing, uh, it uh, it seems like Boise hasn't dropped a set all year. So if UJ does win this, that'll that'll be a, a benchmark 
That'll it'll be uh it'll be bigger than it it seems. Sorry, I'm kind of struggling with words right now. Words right now, not my forte, not my thing. Ooh. So good at it. Off we go. I I feel like this is probably DDD favorite, but I I don't know that for a fact. That being said, um, Bowser is overall a much better character than DDD is. Ooh, he covers over the ledge. Both players pretty even so far. He's trying to set up with Gordo as best he can. As you gotta do with DDD. Aggressive Gordo catches measly off guard. Up uh, tilt to Max. So does the down air though. I'll have to see if Measly can claim one more stock or if Boise's deed is gonna even out the score a little bit. Hits the shield break. That's one of the fastest launches I've seen in a while. It's the tilt. Ooh, does find the kill, so that's going to be the end of Measley's reign for the set. But, Boise is still down by four stocks. That's a, it's a bigger deficit than UJ was in last set, and, well, UJ didn't win last set. So, unless Boise's DDD can make miracles happen, it's not looking too great for him. Yeah, Gordo suck, trust me, I would know. Mr. Came and watch. Game and Watch into D. I feel like this is very Game and Watch favored. Like super duper Game and Watch favored. I wonder if you can bucket the Gordo. You probably can. Whoa! What a launch angle for that Gordo. He's playing pretty aggressively, but is slowly being punished more and more for it. 
What a weird launch angle for that Gordo. Every time. Oh! Hits him with the reflect. That's a lot of free damage, too. Yeah, that Gordo, and and then that Gordo, didn't quite uh, didn't quite reflect the way that he wanted it to. Shields through it. Reflects the Gordo. So, did he create a new one because the Gordo wasn't his at that point? Or did he just catch the Gordo mid-animation? That was an unfortunate smash attack, but he is already at almost 120 now, so Joe should be able to take at least the first stock off of DDD, if not both. That went through. That was that was clean, actually. Need at one forty. Yeah, so I think he just creates a new one because there's no way he caught that Gordo. Hits him with the parry. DDD all the way up to 145. No, can't quite find one of DDD's stocks. Oh, Gordo always flies back at DDD. I didn't know that. Honestly, that that makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Now we're up to apocalyptic aces. Ready? He has three stocks. Boise's DDD has two. And I'm pretty sure Cloud is favored in the matchup. Because, like, basically any of his attacks reflect Gordo. It's the 
grab into down throw. Lopping can do off that. Looks like he goes for the same option again. Next, with the two frame dash attack. This inputs the side B though, a little unfortunate. Next with the dash attack again. It's strange that that projectile didn't hit. DDD just is not dying. Finally connects with the limit, so you get down by about 60%. But the stocks are even. Not dead. Until he is. Unfortunate, UJ almost able to take the second stock off of Boise. But they do come up one stock short. So that's going to be it for us tonight. Thank you for everyone. Uh, thank you to everyone for stopping by. We appreciate it. Um, one more time, don't forget to follow on here as well as on all of our social media so you can keep up with all the UJ Esports action. You can subscribe if you so wish to help support the team. And if you have Amazon Prime, uh, you can link your Amazon and Twitch accounts and uh, you get one free sub each month to any channel of your choosing. Uh, but you have to re-up it each month manually. So be sure to use that. Even if it's not on us, be sure to use it. Um, and you can donate if you so wish, same as subbing, it helps support the team, or you can donate to Extra Life, which is a fund for uh, sick children, and so obviously a very good cause there. So I think that's all we've got for you guys tonight, and I think that's it for the week, too. Um, let me check the schedule real quick. Um, yes. So that is it for the week. Be sure to stop by, um, I want to say next Monday. Yes, next Monday for Rocket League playoffs. You guys have a good night.